So you know the, the, the shocks and stressors are frequently increasing, not only, not, but not only their frequency, also their impact on the, on, the, on the society. And because of these impacts that we are observing and experiencing in our community, the discourse and discussion on resilience is also, is also increasing. Uh, so this is not by chance that we are talking and researching more and more on, on resilience. When these shocks and disasters are happening, one of the tools that the communities have on their hand is really their infrastructure systems. You know, in essence, infrastructures are very boring, like sewage system, pipes, roads, ports. Any of us think about our morning coffee more than these infrastructure systems. But that is until they don't work. When they stop working, they make it to the headline, and they are the superstar. In those cases, it's important to understand what is their role not only to provide the service, but also in the response and recovery. How can we use them to uh, recover better? So look like any tool that we would have, we would have some manual. How do we use them? What do we do with them? When do we use them? And so on. And because of the size and complexity that they would have, these systems might have some layered manuals. On top one, it would be regulations. Really, how we should or how can we enforce the practices associated with the with the use of these uh, infrastructure system. And now here we have one, one of the few cases of regulation about resilience in infrastructure systems. And we are trying to study that. How does it happen? What is the impact of this regulation in the practices that we are having? How do organizations are responding to them? And how we can, we can make it better and, and use this uh, tool, these mechanisms for use of the tool uh, better and more, more efficient. So who would be interested in this research? I would say government bodies, uh, corporates, infrastructure owners would be very interested. But when the disaster happens, I think everybody would be interested. And in terms of progress, we are doing interviews with different actors in this space. We want to see how this impacted them, how, how this regulation really gets shaped and formed. And now while we are doing the interview, we do some primary analysis and then at the same time, we revise our interviews and we continue the interview and then we sit down and look into the interviews and try to synthesize and find what's the, what's the impact of these regulations.